Hello and welcome to another Corel Draw tutorial. And this time we're going to be looking at how to trace and then modify the Android logo. Uh, as you may know, I'm a huge Android fan and uh, I might want to print up an Android poster or maybe uh, modify the logo in some way like change the shape of the hands, etc. So we already have the logo. This is a tracing job. So we're just going to pull it in. This is a file I got off the official Android website. And as you can see, it's just um, a bitmap file, it doesn't really let me do much, and it's not very high res resolution. I mean, it's actually, let's see, yeah, it's just 368 pixels total, the whole thing. So obviously I cannot do much with it in terms of enlarging it, etc., or of course modifying it. So this is where the tracing starts. First of all, we're going to trace the main body shape, and like that, and we're going to round off uh, the corners here. Just I'm shift clicking to select these two and rounding them off a little bit. Okay, that looks nice. Next, I'm going to create another rectangle for the um, for the arms and the legs, which I'll use pretty much the same rectangle. And I'm going to round it off like so. Good. Now I'm going to use Control D to duplicate it and drag it to its proper position. Yeah, and I'm going to select the other one and, whoops, wait, just so that doesn't keep happening to me, I'm going to click the bitmap, right click it, and then click lock object. This way I cannot select the bitmap and it will not interfere anymore. So as I was saying, I'm going to select both arms now, and I'm going to hit B on my keyboard just to make sure they're aligned to the bottom. Great, looks right. Next, I'm going to duplicate this shape again with Control D and use it for the leg and again for the other leg again I'm gonna bottom align it and then I'm going to nudge it a little bit let's see what the nudge distance is good the nudge distance is just one pixel which is fine so I can just with my keyboard nudge it here alright now it's time to make the head now the head is basically a circle and I'm gonna start by Finding the middle, you see, I'm just, I just click the um, body rectangle and I'm going to drag a guideline and it snaps to the center. You see it says center here. I'm going to leave it. And now I'm going to draw a circle starting from about that point. And you see, I'm, I'm drawing the circle while holding shift pressed. This way it's very easy for me to exactly match it. You see, that's just right. Awesome. Now, I don't actually need the whole circle, I just need a part of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it. Just having a little bit of trouble here. Let's move it out so we can work with it more easily. Good. Now I'm going to select it. And I have, I get a node here that I can use and you see it snaps exactly at the halfway point. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side as well to create this shape. Great, and now I need to close it for the head shape. There we go. All right, and I'm going to bring it back, and I want it to be exactly centered with the body. So I'm going to select both and hit C on my keyboard, and now I'm going to nudge it down a little bit. There we go. That looks about right. Okay, good. Now it's time to make the eyes. So I'm selecting the ellipse tool and I'm going just roughly put the shape here. Good. And now I'm going to uh, select to have a white interior by left clicking and no outline by right clicking this X here. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate it. You've seen duplication before. There we go. And I'm going to again select both and make sure they're aligned. Nice. And now we have the antenna to make. Gonna select uh, the freehand tool and just create one line that looks about right here. Something like that. No, that's too long. Wait, let me just create it again very quickly. Yeah, something like that. Make it a little bit thicker. Like, no, that's too thick. Maybe two pixels. Okay. And now I am going to duplicate it, and I'm going to do that using Window, Dockers, Transformations. 
and it doesn't really matter which one I click. There you go. What I want is this. I want to mirror it, and I would like to make one copy. Done. And now I have another shade, which I'm just going to move with the keyboard until it lines up with the other side. Okay, so the basic shape is done. And uh, now we're going to get the color right. So first of all, let's select the shape and just move it a little bit so we can see what we created. Okay, yes, that does look quite similar to an Android. And now we are going to use the uh, the eyedropper tool to grab this color by clicking and then quickly fill it in like so. Great. Now I could either uh, remove the outlines completely or I could make them the same color and I'd like to make them the same color, I just prefer it that way. So I hover over an outline and as you can see the little icon next to the paint bucket changes to show that I'm working with an outline now. I'm gonna do the antennas too and good there we go so we have a basic android logo now uh, very similar to the uh, regular one only this one is vector based now one last important thing for us to do i'm going to select the whole thing and i'm going to hit alt enter and that accesses the object properties dialog for all of these objects right because it's a whole bunch of objects and one thing i'd like to check is this box here which is scale with image and that relates to the outline and that just makes sure that all of my outlines uh, even though they're invisible are gonna scale to the correct sizes as I resize the image and now that I have uh, vectorized it I can use that and just increase the size let's just stretch it there you go and that stays nice and smooth because it's vector based and now of course we can move the arms and the legs a little bit let's rotate the legs a little bit maybe like so maybe something like that and have it say hi let's do this. yeah okay so that's how you very quickly recreate the android logo using corel draw x5 uh, as one last note, I could, of course, trace the bitmap, only that would give me a little bit less flexibility. Plus, the results might not be as good because the bitmap is very small. That's why I wanted to recreate it from scratch. That's it. Thank you for watching.